right, folks, I wanted to make this video of the landing gear that I put on my son's kayak. Um, Shane, you'd asked about how it went together. And I was just gonna show you the idea behind it. Uh, my buddy Joey made one of these for his Slayer before he bought his Old Town, and uh, I really liked it. I made a landing gear for my kayak. When I first got it, I was in a hurry. I was wanting to get it out, and so I just done what I had to do. But it's real heavy, and I like the fact that this one's really light, and if you're going camping and you're carrying a bunch of stuff, you, you can't afford to have any excess weight, so I, I'm probably gonna make one of these for mine. But anyway, uh, what I used was EMT at, from Lowe's. I bought everything from Lowe's. Uh, it's three quarter EMT. And what I've got here is it's just, this is a PVC pipe uh, L, uh, T, and it's threaded right here in the bottom. So what I done was I took and threaded this in. This is a plug, regular threaded plug. I threaded it in there, but first I drilled a hole in this plug right here. And I've got a 5 16 bolt that runs down. The head's up in here in the plug, and it runs down. And you gotta make sure when you drill that hole, you gotta get it dead center, or it'll uh, it'll be cockeyed in there. But anyway, I've got a nut down there in the track, and the nut is just like this. It's just a square nut. I had some in my building, along with all this other junk. And uh, it's a it's a 5 16 so I'm guessing that, that kind of defines the size of the square. So anyway, it worked really good. I guess it worked good for anything you want to put in your track. But what I done was I put that, uh, drilled that hole, put that bolt in there. I had to grind the bolt down a little bit where it would fit down in there. But I went ahead and fastened that plug down here to this track through that nut before I ever put the T on. And uh, I didn't do this, but I would advise to, if you put, if you do this, to when you get your bolt in there and get it straight, put some epoxy in there. So that way it'll hold it still. Cause I kind of had an aggravating time getting it tight. But, Anyway, so with those two there, with that one and that one, I just took and run that EMT uh, through there before anything else. Now, what I done was I just measured and got a rough measurement. I took and held my, my T right, or my elbow right up here. I held it right there. And I just took my tape measure and measured to the other side and got a, a rough estimate. Now you can always take this out and cut it and uh, size it down, which I need to do. But uh, anyway, after I got my EMT in there and got my uh, I got my elbow out and what that is that's just a regular compression fit and I'll uh, show another part where uh, it shows how that goes for any of you guys that ain't never messed with them but anyway I just took that elbow it worked real good uh, it, to make you 90 degree turn and I brought it down to here and I cut these I'm, I'm, I had to do some measuring to see where I wanted my wheel uh, and what you've got to do is from this point here you've got to measure to where it's not too far up here and that's what's gonna uh, determine the length of this piece right here. So anyway, I took and got a, a I guess that's called a T, I don't really know what it's called, but anyway, it worked well for the bottom side where the wheel is because I had to have this uh, to put my wheel on. Now what that is, that's a black pipe fit and a nipple, just a, just a straight nipple. And I welded a um, lock nut in there that way now I, there's probably other ways of doing it but that was just the only thing i could think of and that way with that lock nut welded in i can run that bolt in there just just where i needed that and it'll stay since it's a lock nut because you don't want you don't want that dead tight you want some play in it because these wheels don't have bearings and if you got bearings you can get it a little bit tighter but what i done here is i just took and i put my uh, pull noodle on there before I put my EMT in there and got that tight so that that rest the kayak rests on that pull noodle and that's pretty much all there is to it it's not real complicated and uh, it works really well all right I wanted to kind of explain how these things go together because I didn't do that didn't take it apart but here's your EMT you've got your your nut that goes on first and it's got to be where the threads is out you slide that on this is your compression fitting put that on there and then you slide this here. You can tell this is the end it's gotta go cause it's the only side that will go. And you just start that on there like this. Now I recommend you don't really have to have that unless you wanna use it to um, kinda lock it in. But uh, I, I advise you to stick the, put this in your elbow first. Go ahead and start that in there and get it tight. And then put your piece of pipe, but you just take and tighten that up. And like I was saying, you just take and hold. Uh, once you got that tight in your elbow, you can take and hold this right here with your uh, vice grips and just tighten that thing down just really tight. All right, here's the one I made for my kayak. And I, unless you guys like to 
do some in-depth do-it-yourself. I'd recommend doing the other way. But what I done is I took a piece of bar stock. I welded me a big heavy washer on there. This is a rigid pipe instead of EMT. And I just bolted that to one of those slides uh, on each side and that holds mine. Uh, and I had a piece of pipe, or found a piece of pipe at work in the metal dumpster. All this stuff really come out of the metal dumpster. Uh, and I took, I put a bend in it that kind of curved just like my boat here. And this axle piece right here, now it's welded to this piece. And it's out, you can't tell cause it's all on here, but that's just the only way I seem to do it. And just like the other, I welded a lock nut in there and uh, I put it backwards. And I run my bolt through that. Like I say, now it's a lot heavier, but, uh, but it works really well. I mean, it just got me through.